Hi everybody, this is Roxy, Firewife Lawyer Mom, and today I'm gonna share with you my The Good and the Beautiful shopping haul. Last month, The Good and the Beautiful had an amazing 30% off sale, and I started to think about, well, if this is, this is one of the few times that they have a big sale like this, so I started to think about what are the things I'm going to be using from The Good and the Beautiful for my next school year. And since we're all kind of starting that brainstorming process of what we're gonna be using curriculum-wise for our homeschool year, I figured it out and do a little haul. So I'm gonna share with you what I purchased from The Good and the Beautiful. I'm super excited. I love these types of videos. If you love The Good and the Beautiful and you love these shopping hauls, make sure to stay tuned to this video because I can't wait to share. Welcome to Firewife Lawyer Mom. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you want to join our Firewife Lawyer Mom community, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video and share it. If you have other people that you know that love the good and the beautiful and that want to see some of the new unit studies that have come out. Now, like I said in my introduction, there was a big 30% off good and the beautiful sale. And rarely do they really put all of their products on sale at the same time. And so I started to think about what are some of the things that I'm going to be using next year curriculum wise because we love the good and the beautiful we love the company we love what they stand for and we like a lot of their unit studies for science so the good and the beautiful has really been a big part of our homeschool journey even from the beginning we started when I really didn't know a lot about homeschooling I didn't really know how to begin one of the things that I started to do early on was their science unit studies. I absolutely love them. They're very open and go. They're very, very concise and simple to follow. And my kids absolutely love these unit studies. And we have been doing them, like I said, since the beginning. We started with a lot of the life sciences. This year we went into space and earth science. And so next year, we're going to be switching gears a little bit with regard to our science unit studies. And I wanted to share with you what I purchased from The Good and the Beautiful so you get a little bit of a sneak peek of what the curriculum I'm going to be choosing for my next school year. Now, I know this is around the time where we start really thinking about, okay, what does our year look like next year? What are some of the things we're going to keep from last year and, and just roll over to next year? And we're really trying to make those decisions. So I figured, if I shared this the good and the beautiful haul with you today that it would be helpful in that research that you may be doing out there I know for me as a young homeschool mom when I was you know early in my homeschool days one of the things that I did was look at a lot of shopping halls and a lot of curriculum flip throughs because it was just so helpful for me to really look at them and think about whether they would be a good fit for my family so let me get started with my Good and the Beautiful haul. Now, next year, I wanted to focus on more of the physical sciences. So I have a rising uh, from second grade to third grade, and I have a child that's going from fifth grade to sixth grade. I also wanted to focus next year on health and emotional health and physical health. That's one of the things that we really haven't covered in our homeschool, and it's really about that time where my kids are old enough that they would understand. So that was another really big one that I wanted to try and see if I could find something that would meet that need in my homeschool. So what I did was, as I looked through the Good and the Beautiful's website, on the day of the sale and I found that the good and the beautiful is having a lot of changes to their science unit studies they're either updating a lot of the older ones or they're creating completely new unit studies for example they used to have a water cycle type of unit study and a weather unit study or a meteorology unit study well now they've actually combined the two which is pretty cool and I actually just purchased the water and weather unit study we're actually planning on doing it uh, towards the end of this year and into the summer because summer season down here in Florida where we live is hurricane season. So we're going to be learning a lot about meteorology and about the hurricanes and tornadoes and all different kinds of weather systems that are out there. So I figured it would be great to put that in as our little summer unit study as well. But for next school year, there are some really cool unit studies that are coming out that I just cannot wait to break open and get started with. So I'm gonna show you a lot of those 
And I'm also gonna show you a couple of things that I'm using for electives and that I'm using for our core curriculum as well. Now, for the most part, we use the good and the beautiful just for science and we do a little bit of some of the history unit studies we have done with them. For the most part, we, we also did their safety lesson, which I highly recommend. It was a great lesson as well, a great unit study rather. But for the most part, we stick to science. Now, why do I like sciences? Why do I like the science unit studies from the good and the beautiful? They're super easy and open and go. They give you a supply list that you get and you could purchase everything at the beginning. Or, and it's really a lot of it is household items, which I love. So the experiments and the activities are really simple to do and they don't require a lot of having like these items that you really would never buy. So I love that about The Good and the Beautiful. Also, The Good and the Beautiful has a lot of great secondary resources that come with the unit study. For example, they have a lot of like read aloud books where you can supplement what you are studying with some read alouds. And I love that because read alouds is a really big part of our homeschool. We love to sit around the couch, sit around the table and do units and do um, a read aloud. So I love that component of the Good and the Beautiful's unit studies as well. And they also come with student journals. And I love these student journals because they're already pre-printed, they're already bounded up, and I could put them easily into into a child science binder and it's ready to go. So those are the kinds of things that really make my work mom, working mom heart happy because I'm able to not have so much prep. I also love that the good and the beautiful science unit studies are very God-centered. You know, a lot of times in the secular world, science just focuses on, you know, nature and the secularism of it. But what I love is that the good and the beautiful really incorporates that all of these things work perfectly in this perfect order because God was the author of everything. And so I love that foundation that we get to incorporate God-centered studying with our science. So I really love that a lot. Also, I like that the unit studies for science are broken up into pretty easy lessons. Usually it's about two to three pages of per lesson and it doesn't cover a lot of concepts. Also, what I love is that it has vocabulary words. If you look behind me, this is our science wall. It's not really all in full view of our, of our um, photo, of our picture here. But if you can see, it has a lot of vocabulary words that you can post on a bulletin board or on some kind of a poster board. And the children can be able to learn all of these vocabulary terms throughout the unit study. So I really love that about them because it helps to break down these science concepts in an easier way. They also have some really great filmed videos that come with the, the unit study. So they will show you Throughout the lessons, they will show you where you can play these videos that The Good and the Beautiful has produced themselves. They're also starting to come out with a lot of uh, experiments that they show on a video. So let's say you don't have the time or you don't have the energy or you just don't want to have to buy the supplies to do an experiment. Well, The Good and the Beautiful is now providing you with a video that your children can watch where they are actually doing the experiment and your children can watch it being done. And that's awesome, especially if you're a first or second year homeschooler and you really don't have your homeschool room set up or you don't have anything really that you can designate as a homeschool area, this is a great thing that you can have that you don't have to have all of these materials and all of this stuff. So very, very helpful, very hands-on uh, and very open and go. So I love that about The Good and the Beautiful. So let's get started. That I got from The Good and the Beautiful for their sale was their handwriting curriculum. So we are going to be doing level two handwriting from The Good and the Beautiful. Now I use different handwriting curriculums. I like to use the, um, what is it called? I like to use the Handwriting Without Tears. I love their curriculum, it's great. I use Zaner Blosser as well. They're an awesome curriculum. Uh, I also do some religious ones. So I use Patriotic Penmanship, which has a lot of like quotes from the Founding Fathers to do and, as copy work. But I wanted to get something, because a lot of times for our school year, when I purchase like one or two of the handwriting curriculums, they usually, my kids, they usually finish them like within two or three months. They love 
doing their handwriting while I'm doing a read aloud or while I'm doing our family morning basket. So they get through them pretty quickly. So I wanted to have something that can last throughout the school year so they can continue to practice their handwriting. So uh, we got the good and the beautiful handwriting level two and we got the good and the beautiful handwriting level three. So I have both of them. Now, my daughter is not writing in cursive yet. So I think what we're going to do is probably introduce cursive like mid-year next year. I just want her to have a good mastery of regular printing handwriting um, and until she gets into the cursive. But I definitely want to teach her cursive because it's such a dying art form right now and schools really aren't focusing on cursive and it's just so important for them to have that skill as well. My older daughter who's in third grade, she luckily we were in a great school that had handwriting as had cursive handwriting so she was able to continue that work throughout uh, her year and she does write cursive and she writes actually pretty well so that's pretty cool. And the next thing that we got is the typing one. So my daughter has never, my sixth grader has never learned how to type officially. She obviously uses a computer and she types but she doesn't know how to like officially type and so nowadays obviously with the use of computers and I want her to be able to learn how to type because we're going to try to incorporate a lot more of her own research through um, different resources that we have. So I figured that this would be a great year, sixth grade, to introduce typing to her. So The Good and the Beautiful has this great typing workbook that has different lessons where you incorporate your typing. Now, I've heard mixed reviews on the typing. Let me know what you guys think about it. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it. Some people love it. Some people think it's boring. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Let me know. I purchased it. I figured it, it was on sale anyways. And if I don't, if my older one doesn't like it, maybe my younger one will like it. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Cause I really bought this a little bit hesitantly because I didn't know if it was going to work for us just based on the mixed reviews. So let me flip the camera over now because I want you guys to see some of the science unit studies because a lot of them are new and I figured it would be a great way for you guys to see them if that's something that you're thinking about. All right, everybody. So I'm going to show you guys the different unit studies and just give you a quick little flip through. I'm not going to take too much time, just not so I don't make the video so long, but I wanted to show you guys if you have not seen the unit studies before, what they cover and how they look. So this is the first one. It's called health and the physical body and it's for grades three through eight. And if you look at the table of contents, it goes through lesson one, how the body is formed, lesson two, the digestive system, the basics of nutrition, vitamins and hydration, the renal system. Um, it goes through the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the skeletal system, the muscular skeletal system, germs and hygiene. So it's pretty comprehensive as far as what it covers. Okay, so as you can see, it has the optional read alouds, which I showed you guys. And then here it shows you the unit information. So it has your science journal, your science wall, the lesson preparation, you know, what you need to do to prepare for each lesson. And like I said, the preparation is not really that crazy. So it's really open and go. And then these are the unit videos I was talking to you about that are super high quality and I love that about it. Now this, this video is not actually sponsored by the good and the beautiful, but um, I just love their curriculum so much. And so here is your supply list, which I will not show you in the other videos, but look how amazing the, uh, these are the vocabulary words. So what I usually do is I will cut these out and laminate them so we could put them on our board and I will show you our board in a second, but I've also shown it in other videos as well. So here are all of the different vocabulary words and then you get to lesson one, how the body is formed. So it'll always have a little window here, which tells you what you need to prepare and it'll have like a list of supplies you'll need for that lesson. So it's really a beautiful out way they, they, they lay it out for you. Um, so this is the human body, the physical body and health which is awesome. I love, love, love. They have some really cool experiments, some really cool diagrams of the different systems of the body, the basics of nutrition. So it goes through all the different food groups and all of that. Now we've covered that before, but this definitely goes into more depth. 
It has like these little food cards. So it's really a beautifully laid out unit study. And what I love is that now, before with the Good and the Beautiful, you used to have to like do a, do a lot of prepping. And with the unit studies now, they come with these student journals already pre-done, which is awesome. And so just wanted to show you guys what the student journal looks like for this unit. And it has the cell division and development of a baby. And so this is, again, very colorful for the kids to be able to work with. Um, my kids love colorful stuff, so this really is awesome for them. And then at the end, it has like some extra journaling pages as well. The next unit study I'm gonna show you guys is the chemistry. Now again, this is for older students. This one is the fifth through eighth grade level. So it's a little bit more complex and I'm gonna be doing this with my sixth grader on our own. And this one, again, comes with the same types of unit information. So I'm not gonna show you that again. It shows you what read alouds that are optional that you can use. And I always get the read alouds because they're just so great and they help to really tie the subject together. And these are the vocabulary words. Let me get to, and this is lesson one, introduction to chemistry. And it's always gonna have that little window which helps you to prepare. And it goes through the scientific method. It goes through the lab, you know, different lab safety rules, scientific measurement. And I mean, it's just really beautifully laid out. And I, I'm assuming that on the website they have some sample pages. I'm not sure. You'll have to check on the good and the beautiful. I will link their website below. Chemical and physical properties. So again, this is the new chemistry unit study from the good and the beautiful. Um, and then this is the student journal. Again, super colorful. Goes, each lesson has a different page, has the periodic table of elements. Look how beautiful it's laid out. I probably will cut this out and laminate it as well, just because it's so nice, and put it like on our science board. The scientific method, all the different activities that they're gonna be doing and working on while you do each of the lessons. So I love it, awesome. Okay, the next unit study I'm gonna flip through is our health and human mind. And again, this is more into the mental health and psychology. This is a three through eight unit study, third grade through eighth grade. So perfect for my kids. So what does this go through? It goes through the, um, the human mind and nervous system is where it starts. The brain, eyes and vision, ears and hearing, mouth and taste, smell and the nose, the brain stem, memory and emotions, social health, emotional health, connecting with nature and healthy habits, which this is gonna be really great because we really haven't covered these kinds of topics before in our homeschool. So it's gonna be really nice to talk about these different things. Again, comes with their vocabulary words as well. And then you start with your first lesson, the human mind and the nervous system. So it goes through first, more of like an anatomy and science and then goes into the mental health, which is great because you kind of learn how those two things work together and how some of your emotions have to do with the way your brain is wired and how your brain functions. So I thought that was a really great way to tie both in. So you're gonna get some life science and you're gonna get health science as well, which is awesome. And it's just really beautiful. It talks about ears and hearing, vibrations, how your ear actually hears, and mouth and taste, how you, you know, look how beautiful and vibrant the, the pages are. Now this is the pre-printed, so I didn't, you know, I ordered it pre-printed already. I believe they have PDFs as well, uh, but I'm not sure, you'd have to check the website for that. And then it goes into the different emotions that you can learn, you know, a lot of times kids don't understand why they feel the way they feel. So I thought this would be great addition to our homeschool. So that is that. And then it also comes with the student journal. As you can see, 
all the different activities that it will have as well. Okay, and the last one I'm gonna show you is the Wonders of Energy. Now, we've never talked about energy in our homeschool, so I'm really excited for this one as well. Um, it goes through, here's the table of contents. Energy is everywhere, the history of energy, types of energy, potential energy forms, kinetic energy, thermal energy, light energy, sound, electricity, mag magnetism, um, which is probably gonna have some really cool experiments and things to do. Again, gives you that optional book list for you to read as well. I love these supplies needed because I can go through this at the beginning of my unit and see what I need to have and have that with me in my planner so that I have all the things that I need. And again, a lot of them are really household items like an apple, a knife, a stopwatch, a bean bag. Like they're really not that difficult items to get. You know, it's not like you have to fill a whole cart full of Amazon stuff to do these lessons. These are the vocab words. And then it starts with energy is everywhere. So I love it. This, I'm, we're just so excited. And again, it comes with the student journal as well. All right, everybody, so that's it. That's my haul for The Good and the Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you really are interested in The Good and the Beautiful for your homeschool, I will leave the link for their website. And I hope you enjoyed my haul. Definitely hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be uploading very soon our curriculum for next year. I'm already starting to brainstorm and order curriculum and it's coming in. I'm just waiting for everything to come in because I will be doing a video for our family subjects, a video for our morning basket and third grade and sixth grade. So definitely stay tuned for those videos coming up. Thanks so much and take care. Bye-bye. It's what you're doing, making me feel like I'm falling.